All right, time for sports. With more on that, here's Pete Ruff. All right, thank you, Ian. Well, athletic trainers have been in the sports spotlight recently. First, it was a Buffalo Bills trainer helping save the life of safety DeMar Hamlin. Then Army hockey trainer Rachel Leahy rushing onto the ice, preventing a potential life-threatening situation with an injured player. They are heroes to most of us, but for them, it's just another day at the office. There was a big hit at center ice, and I was kind of following that. And then I just kind of looked a little bit to the left, and I saw some blood. So Rachel Leahy is an athletic trainer for West Point Army Hockey. Most of her days are spent in a training room working on athletes. But last Thursday was like none other for the Dutchess County native. During a game against Sacred Heart, Army's Eric Huss suffered a serious cut to his neck after being caught by an inadvertent skate. Leahy, who was on the bench, jumped into action when she saw the player in distress. I obviously couldn't tell all of the structures that were damaged, but you could tell it was very severe, um, and that was kind of all I needed to know. Leahy rushed Huss off the ice while controlling the bleeding. He underwent surgery at a local hospital later and was released the next day. Her fast action prevented a potential life-threatening situation. I'm not going to lie, for, uh, for a few seconds there, I, I thought we might lose her. When all of us were kind of in shock, like, like just it was chaos. There was one person that was like a calming influence, and that was Rachel. That's what we're trained to do. You know, that's what we're educated on is, you know, don't panic, take a breath yourself, go into it with a clear mind, and then do what you're trained to do. Rachel was honored by West Point at its most recent home game. She was named the Atlantic Hockey's Player of the Week. As for Eric, he's expected back on the ice in a few weeks. Athletic trainers are doing this all the time. We're trained, we're, you know, we're prepared. Uh, we go through these scenarios all the time, and uh, the profession itself deserves the recognition. Well, Army coach Brian Riley told me the most important people at the games aren't the players or coaches. They are the athletic trainers, and we have certainly learned that to be very true.